How swift are the wolves of Ice Rack? As swift as Crystal Maiden. How swift is Crystal Maiden? Apparently, Boots with Wings 280. What is Boots with Wings 280? Is Crystal Maiden's movement speed represented in in game units from Dota 2? What is a Dota 2? Well, that is a rabbit hole I don't care to fully delve into. But we're not. We'll dip our toes in it a bit. Take a look see, so we're not completely lost on the subject matter at hand. Dota 2 is a life numbing experience where nine people hate you while you hate them. While you're all expressing odium to each other, things get clicked on. Ooh, clicky clicky. Sometimes buttons are pressed as well, and pretty colors show up on the screen. Ah, that's a very nice shade of green. These colors can make people mad, but that's okay. That's what they're there for. Eventually, this big glowing red thing gets clicked on long enough that it explodes, and you, plus the nine people, are no longer hating each other. Or rather, the hatred can start to fade now. This can also happen in a blue flavor. Now that you know what Dota 2 is, we shall return to the original question. How swift are the wolves of Ice Racked? As said earlier, the wolves are as swift as Crystal Maiden. And why we know this? She has a voice line, which is Swift as the wolves of Ice Rack. This has a 1% chance of occurring when you give her a movement command. So we can assume the swiftness is in reference to her movement, and her response to you ordering is saying, I'm as swift as the wolves of Ice Rack. Look at me move. So knowing this, Crystal Maiden, or CM for short, has a movement speed of 280 movement units, which we can then equivocate to the wolves of Ice Rack speed. But what does 280 movement units mean? It means we have to do some math. See, these units are not real or equivalent to units in our world, but we can make them real and equivalent by finding out Crystal Maiden's cup size. But why would finding out Crystal Maiden's cup size make these numbers real? Well, if we find out how many red wine cups tall she is, then convert that into inches and feet, we can find out her real world equivalent travel speed in feet per second, kilometers per hour, and knots per day. Now you may be asking, why would her height give us all this? Dota 2 is a wonky game, and scale seems to be thrown off. This guy here is supposed to be as big as a mountain, and this is Zeus. Out of the many things in the game of Dota 2, the only real-world equivalents for size comparison that we can find in this fantasy world are humans. But humans are many different heights. So again, how does this help us? If we run with the assumption that the average height of a human female is 7.875 red wine cups tall, then we can build an incredibly shaky base that Crystal Maiden can be a unit of no measurement if she is of average height among her peers of human females in the game of Dota 2. Figuring out if she is of average height among her peers is going to be tricky, as the Dota 2 map's perspective is at a strange angle. It is laid out so you have sweeping views of the mass murder of little green and red men fighting each other. But when it comes down to actually comparing and contrasting, this angle, while pleasant to look at, makes it basically impossible to figure these things out. Thankfully, there is actually a different viewing angle we can activate. It gives us the full body perspective of whatever we are selecting, so we can see just how pretty or ugly they truly are. So using this camera mode, we can then line up all the human girls in the game and use this watermelon for reference to determine if Crystal Maiden is of average height or not. And would you look at that? Crystal Maiden is fairly average among the girls. She is also blonde. With these findings, we have now determined that Crystal Maiden is 63 inches tall. And with that, we can now start measuring distances based on units of Crystal Maiden. We still got the janky camera angle to deal with, as measuring overhead is the best way to do distances, as opposed to trying to get at the angle of the full body shot, but it still means that we're going to have to deal with the janky angles. Luckily, there is a location on the map which can be measured both in the full body view and the overhead view, which allows us to figure out a measurement of distance, and this location is the top of this staircase. Now, this staircase is very important. It represents the path to the high ground that gave Obi-Wan Kenobi advantage over Anakin. It comes from the low ground, which is lower than the high ground, thus its name. It is a very fancy staircase with these lovely pillars, and if we take Crystal Maiden 
adjust her posture to be standing up straight, then lay her out between the two pillars. We can then find the distance between them is about 4.57 cms, or 24 feet long. Conveniently, the distance between these pillars also happens to be around 700 in-game units of length. The measurements used to determine how far attacks, spells, and clicking on things have effectiveness. Knowing that 700 units is equivalent to 24 feet makes things a lot more straightforward. It lets us know that 1 meter is equivalent to 95.7 units, and that 1 foot is equivalent to 29.17 units. Interestingly, if we go with the internet data that the map is 11,000 by 11,000 units large, we know that the map is a little smaller than the universal measurement of 2.5 football fields. However, if we go with my measurements of the map being 17,400 by 17,400, then we know that the map is larger than 2.5 football fields. Now that we know the lay of the land, and we have the distances figured out, we just have to find a track of land for the blondie to run back and forth across that is long enough to account for variabilities and my incompetence when it comes to the tracking numbers accurately. As the larger numbers are easier to work with, I have chosen a space starting at this wet spot here in the center of the map to the top of the stairs on the red part of the map. This distance is about 6,000 units long, which was measured with an in-game magic item that pushes you 600 units in a straight line without changing direction. Having it push us 10 times gives us the track laid out, with a margin of error of around 100 units. After doing many tests, on average it takes Crystal Maiden 21.5 seconds to run the course laid out, so she travels around 205 feet in a third of a minute. This means the Wolves of Ice Rack's swiftness is really slow. When it comes to long distance running, the average human can travel around 6 miles per hour. The average timber wolf trots at about 5 miles an hour, but runs at swiftest at 40 miles per hour. The chubby little furballs of Iceland are running at a lazy 6.5 miles per hour. Most Dota 2 experiences last around 45 minutes, so Crystal Maiden keeping up this pace is fairly impressive. But, comparing this laudable feat to fantasy wolves that must do most of their hunting by opening their mouths and hoping food walks into it, is a rather silly concept. Maybe it snows a lot in Iceract, and so all the measurements for these canines is based on them hopping their way through four feet of snow. Or maybe they just look like this. Both of these examples would account for their speed, or rather, lack thereof. When it comes to swiftness, I am thinking of all-out speed. In comparison to other animals, and even humans, the all-out of the Wolves of Ice Rack is falling short. For constant long distance, a pace of 6.5 miles per hour is not that bad. For a human, it is actually fairly good, especially for today's humans. So, kudos to Crystal Maiden for putting out a fairly decent jog while fighting gods, demons, and the incarnation of black holes. This same congratulations, though, cannot be given to the wolves. Now that we know how swift the wolves of Ice Rack are, let's wrap up by doing a few conversions of movement speed and a little bit of fun facts. 29.5 movement speed is equivalent to 1 foot per second, and 45 movement speed is equivalent to 1 mile per hour. This lets us know that Boots of Speed, an in-game item, make you 1 mile per hour faster, and Boots of Travel, another in-game item, make you 2 miles per hour or 3.2 kilometers per hour faster. Tell this to your friends, I bet they would love to hear about it over and over again. Just bring it up every once in a while, even if they don't know what Dota 2 is, it's still something they would love to learn about that you learned about from the internet. And you can tell them it is based on 100% accurate math, facts, and logic. Also, while you are telling them about interesting facts you learned from the internet, let them know that the Wolves of Ice Rack are as swift as a fit average height ice mage that runs at about 6.5 miles per hour. I am certain it will make their day. And it would make my day by letting me know what you thought about this video. If you want me to make more video game logistic videos, or if you think I should stick to my lane and make only Minecraft videos. 
Anyways, a big thank you to my patron, Blush Feathers. And thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.